Thanks for launching the digital edition of Night Sounds with Bill Pierce. We trust that Bill's commentary will be a source of hope and encouragement during these times. After you listen to this online webcast, please consider a generous contribution to offset costs. Supporting Night Sounds on this platform is easy. Just click the Donate tab. We hope you are blessed listening to this Night Sounds program. One thing I know for sure about you tonight is that you are absolutely unique. You are also very special, and so am I. So, what do you say we special people get together for about oh, 28 minutes or so on radio here? Just in case we haven't met, I'm Bill Pierce, and I've had the joy of hosting this half hour for many years. And each time we gather together like this, I pick a different subject. We come at life from a different vantage point, dealing with things that we meet day by day, night by night. Most of the time, this program is theologically oriented and based. We talk about God and His relationship with us, as revealed in the Bible. We talk mostly about Jesus. And one of the beautiful things about Jesus is how he related to the various kinds of personalities that he met. Not only people who thronged him and listened to him and gathered around him and were healed and touched by him, but the ragtag group of guys that he chose to walk with him, his disciples. And one of the messages that appears throughout Jesus' ministry is his involvement with people. He accepted them as they were. With all of their foibles and eccentricities and strangeness, just as he accepts you and me tonight. I'm glad you're there, and if I were to say one thing to you and to myself before we begin things, let's be ourselves, okay? Jesus said to them, Follow me. And the strange thing about it is, that they did it. They dropped everything, their life's calling, their occupations, and he drew them to himself. What an adventure lay in store for each one of them. And for you and me tonight, if we will follow him. I'd like to begin musically with a group called Treasure. Some favorite people of mine, we've had them often on Night Sounds. One of their most recent recordings. Song of Prayer with the title, Draw Me. If you feel something in your life that's lacking tonight, Jesus is saying, come with me, follow me. Let's go together, just as we are. This is going to be a tremendous adventure if you've never engaged in it before.
fading out into the distance. Treasure. Beautiful song, draw me. And that's what Jesus did to those guys he called his disciples. Tonight's program is entitled Be Yourself. That's what it's all about. Again, Jesus accepted those twelve as they were. One of the paradoxes of this social culture we live in is that people live closely together without meeting. As we look closer into the way Christ related to his support system, these twelve disciples, as he chose them, he began telling them who he was. And over the course of his ministry, he continually told them who he was in different ways. And I would imagine there was curiosity, just as there were questions and misinterpretations. The anguish of not being understood must have been a lonely experience at times. But the one thing that we'll find out about Jesus, among others, is that he always gave those around him the freedom to be themselves, even when it was painful. The disciples could not protect Jesus from going through the experiences he faced. And he didn't protect them from facing themselves and growing, even through pain, in their faith and in their relationships with others. In fact, he even gave them the freedom for a relationship to deteriorate. Judas didn't understand what Messiah meant. And too late he understood that he didn't understand at all. Jesus understood that people have different things to offer in relationships. There were some who offered him hospitality, others compassion. Still others offered him a retreat from the crowd. And people responded to Jesus in their own way and met various needs. Even the resurrection was met with the uniqueness of the individual. Mary, if you may remember, recognized his voice when she thought he was the gardener at the tomb. She uttered the first sermon when she said, I have seen the Lord. These words in John chapter 20 in the Gospels. John recognized his unique ability to catch fish, when at first he thought him to be just another fisherman. And Peter, the rock, was not always the epitome of strength. He denied Christ three times. But the Lord of the second chance confronted him face to face with love, just like he will confront you and me. He offered the same invitation in earlier years, Peter, follow me. Then we had Thomas, the doubter, the skeptic, responded to the resurrection with a question. He wasn't even certain Christ had risen. Jesus experienced diversity in relationships and appeared to value it. So tonight, he knows who you are and who I am, and he accepts us as we are. That's the beautiful thing about this relationship, and he is able to turn your life into harmony. He did it with me years ago. And I can't even explain how. I don't know the mechanics of salvation and conversion. But he met me where I was at my point of pain, and he accepted me. And as I began to grow through that pain, he still stayed there. He didn't leave me, and he won't leave you. Tonight's program be yourself. We might have some rough edges that need planing and sanding and smoothing. That's what it's all about. But the Lord Jesus Christ is able to make a warm fire out of a cold experience for you in your life. You know how it is in the winter when you come from the bitter cold outside and Meet the warmth of a fireplace, and it's somewhat akin to salvation. When we turn our lives over to Him, 
When he says, follow me, I'll give you rest. And I'll touch you with the warmth of my love in this cold world. Enter Bobby Michaels, a man who was touched by this love and acceptance of Jesus. He changed his heart, and he renewed his personality, and he gave him a new mission, a new goal. Let's listen to this story. It's unique, just like you and I are. Bobby Michael singing for us tonight on Night Sounds in our program entitled Be Yourself. I'm Bill Pierce, just in case we haven't met. And often we meet you midstream as we move along. Take a moment's break here to 
enlighten you on the fact that Night Zones, as it goes off the air in a few minutes, will remain with you through the forms of compact discs of the music of Night Zones, the printed page, the opportunity of sharing with you in prayer. In case you're interested in joining this fellowship, our mailing address is Night Zones, Wheaton, Illinois, 60189. Our email location is Night Zones Radio, that's one word, at aol.com. We also have a website, gives you a little information you won't hear on the air, such as the title of our upcoming programs, where we can be heard in the country and out of the country on radio stations here and there. There's a biographical sketch and some information about some of the other items of ministry. And our website is nightsoundsradio.org. Love to hear from you in this manner. Coming back to our subject at hand, Be Yourself. One of our listeners, Leona Choi, who's offered so much good counsel through her poetry and free verse, wrote a little item entitled, Just Me. And she asked, Must I always be someone else's somebody? Can't I ever be just me? On the other hand, why should I struggle endlessly to find identity exclusively by being someone in isolation? Only God is the great I am, existent in himself alone. I am the created one, only known as I am known by him and as I touch my fellow man. So, if I'm called God's child, the good shepherd's sheep, my husband's wife, my son's mom, my granddaughter's grandma, my neighbor's friend, or my brother's keeper, that's okay with me. For then, I make the discovery of my real identity in the opportunity of being somebody to someone else responsibly. Tonight's program, Be Yourself, and that's the best person that you can be. We meet different people day by day if we mingle at all, and often we'll come in contact with someone who's not on our frequency, someone who may be even abrasive to us. We wonder why we're together at all. May be a chance meeting like ships in the night. But when we touch that person, may we ask God to help us to be something special for each one and to be an open channel through which, through whom, he can minister by his power. I'd like to play a song in closing. It's actually a selection that speaks of the future. One of the happy opportunities in my life was to play solo trombone with this group, I'd never met them. We did our recording piecemeal. We lay down tracks, and some years later I did meet them in concert. And what a joy. Why should I worry if it shines or rains? I'm safe and warm under his wings. I'm in no Forever in His name. 
the group First Call, with the excitingly beautiful song arranged by David Maddox, Forever in His Care. Well, to say it once again, the best thing we can do for ourselves and for others is to yield that self to the Lord God. He won't change our identity. He's made us the way we are, but he will refine us, smooth off the rough edges, make us better people. I want to thank you sincerely for being there tonight, for being who you are. And I trust that in God's divine providence, this will happen again maybe on night sounds. So till we meet again, take care of you, be yourself, and good night.